Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Something Different, where I delve into hobbies or interests that I'm into that aren't radio controlled. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, there's no coffee there, so who are you and what have you done with the real mic? Now, see, I specifically chose, by the way, it is me, right? Chose to have no coffee here today because I'll be unboxing and my arms will be flailing and, and you know, the rest of it, and I will spill it. So, hence no coffee. If you know me, if you follow this channel, you know I'm obviously big into RC, I'm also into cars, bikes, engines, boats, that sort of stuff, um, rock music, and Nintendo, especially Legend of Zelda. So, I've ordered the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening limited edition set, kit, whatever you want to call it. This, uh, this is a European, Nintendo of Europe only, uh, American players of or Nintendo, American Nintendo fans weren't particularly happy when the uh, special editions were announced because the American version is simply called the Dreamer edition and it has the game in a box and an art book set and that's it whereas the European version has quite a lot more in it and so some people in America were ordering the European version and getting them shipped over because there's no region lock on a switch. Uh, the Japanese version is simply called the art book set, and again, again it's just got an art book. Um, this European version has something special in addition to the art book, and I'll get into that. Before I unbox it, obviously you can still see it, still, well maybe you can see it, still in the cellophane. Um, I had no idea this was coming at all, I completely forgot it was due to arrive soon. I just, the postman handed me this, this, this sort of big sealed padded envelope, you know the big padded envelope parcel things, about this size, and I thought, I thought, oh wow, that must be the KNN filter for Rachel Suzuki Swift. That, that arrived a lot quicker than I thought. And then I went, okay, open it up. And I went, <gasps> I forgot about that. So yes, this was completely unexpected this morning. Uh, but I have noticed a couple of uh, disappointing things before I start. Um, first of all, I don't know if you can see it there. The box is dented. And here, I don't know if you can see that the volcano is the easiest way to see. The lines of the volcano go down here and then all of a sudden it splits off to the side. It's not lined up and you can see the same with this gull. Can you see this gull? The bottom of it isn't lined up because what, what it is is this is a sleeve. This the bottom half here is the sleeve and then this back picture is the same sleeve so it folds up under like that. And actually I don't know if it's during production or shipping or storage or whatever, this sleeve has shifted in the cellophane and it's actually been really squashed at that side. See, it's squashed in, the sleeve squashed in and a bit damaged there. Uh, now, I wouldn't usually care about something like that at all, but this is supposed to be a collector's edition, or a collectible, rather, it should be a collectible, and Nintendo collectibles are worth a fortune, and the value plummets with damage. So that's a bit of a shame. But anyway, and also it's, it, it's, it's a nice looking thing, and you don't, you don't want it to have any damage. But anyway, let's get this unboxed. You'll see, I'll point out the difference between the, this European version and the... Japanese and American versions as we get there. See, it's a, it is a sleeve, and that's kind of damaged, it's squashed in. Um, let's have a look at this art. So is that, it's the same picture at the front. I'll just, I'll remove the sleeve. We'll look at the sleeve first, then we'll look at the box. Um, so yeah, it's just the, the bottom of the box there with the, I love the sort of vivid, Graphical style they go in front of the really vivid colors. It's nice. It's really nice looking. You get the screenshots of the game. The art style of the game divided opinion, but um, I think it looks fantastic. Some people were saying that they didn't like how it was sort of toy like, and they prefer the sort of anime style graphic uh, art style. But I, I really think that looks fantastic. I mean, I think the graphic style is fabulous on this game. And it shows you here what you get in the box. Uh, the game there, you've got the art, the art book. The art book looks different in the American version. Um, it's got a nicer cover. But anyway, there's the, the art book. And then there, see that Game Boy? It's a steel book. It's like a game case made of steel. Um, comes free, well, I say free with it. This, this edition was quite well priced, considering the base game was £60. I think it was only another £15 to get the whole collector's edition, maybe 20 But I think I got it for £15 more. That's not bad at all. But that's actually a steel book. The Game Boy case is a steelbook where you can you can keep your game cartridge inside, but it's styled exactly like an original Game Boy playing the original Link's Awakening. 
And you can see that's the menu screen from the original Link's Awakening on it. That's, that's a really cool touch, I like that. That's really nice. So that's what we've got to look forward to. And look at this, look at this. That's cool. I really like that. That's the back of the box there. Look at, I mean, look at this art, artwork. Isn't that just lovely? It looks like a... You know what it reminds me of from here, on the camera, I don't know, eh... Uh, and in person, actually. It looks, doesn't that look like you've got a, like a sort of... A fish tank with, with uh, you know, you put the fake castles and mountains and trees and stuff in a fish tank. That's where you've got tropical fish. Isn't that, that's what it looks like? That's what I think that looks like. Love the sun rays. The art style's fantastic. It's really beautiful. Limited edition. Edition limited! Yes. Beautiful. Lovely. And I love it. That's just cool. I'm not even sure which one I'd prefer. Probably that. But not by much. I like that too. I'm going to have it up on display. I'll need to find a place. I've got no space in the house whatsoever. And here we go. Oh, look at that art book. Steel book, rather. That's what I meant to say. So you can lift up with the string. I mean, well, first of all, look at that. There's a lot of effort gone into this. A lot of it. This is how you do a limited edition, Activision, if you're watching, with the stupid Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing. Don't get me wrong, Crash Team Racing is a great game, and the remake's pretty good as well. It's a good, good remake. But the limited edition for that was, here's some skins early that you have to earn in-game otherwise. Oh, and some also some disgusting skins you don't want. There's what you get for your extra 20 quid. I think it was because the game was 35, and then the... £20 extra for the limited edition. I think it was something like an extra 53% of its value or cost on some rubbish skins, and some of which you could unlock anyway. And you can unlock the bad guy at the start of the game, even though that's kind of the base. The point of doing the adventure mode is to unlock him at the end, so you take away that. That's not how you do a limited edition. This is how you do a limited edition. Look at this. For the same price, an extra 20 quid. I think I got it for 15 extra, but for this is the same extra price as, as getting the skins on Crash Team Racing. Look at this. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that steelbook. It looks just like a real Game Boy. And look, you can see the cartridge in the back. I had no idea. That's cool. That is cool. It even has got the pin, the original pin, the model number, pin number, whatever. Patent pending, made in Japan. Tells you what batteries go in it and everything. Just like a real one. Look at that. I will hope I'm holding it. Go. Nice. That's really cool. I love the fact that it's got the original Game Boy game in there as well, in the main menu. That's nice. You can see here. Ah, cool. The inside the screenshots from the original game. And then and then there's got the cartridge cartridge slot there. So you can put the cartridge in, store it there. But uh, there, there it is. But I uh, I use a sort of sleeve thing to keep all my games in anyway. That's nice. This is what you're getting extra with the European version. The Dreamer, American Dreamer version, Dreamer Edition, that's what it's called. And the, obviously the Jack, Japanese art book set don't have this. This is this is what all the North American fans were a bit upset about because they couldn't get this. Whereas, it seems bizarre, I mean, Nintendo of Europe offered this, why did Nintendo of America and Nintendo of Japan not offer this? Because, okay, this is all lovely. And personally, because I never had an original Game Boy with this game, I don't have this nostalgia factor that some other people would have. So I prefer the box and the, and the you know, this whole beautiful setup and everything. That's, that's, that's why I bought it. I was, I, although I do like this, I'm not as keen on this. But if you, what happens if you grew up in America or Japan, and this is what you remember from your childhood, and it wasn't available in your region. That would suck. No wonder people were unhappy about it. Because that's really nice. I've got the uh, Smash Brothers one, which is, eh, it's all right. Um, I've got the Luigi's Mansion 3 one coming, which has the, uh, oh, it's a wee, bit, wee mark on it, unfortunately, but never mind. The, the Luigi's Mansion 3 one with the glowing letters is coming, so that'll be cool. And the Pokemon Sword and Shield, because I ordered the double pack, which comes with the steelbook, gold steelbook, and I'm going to give... Rachel one of the two games because I don't want to have both because I'm not that sort of person. I don't collect games I know I've got this but I don't collect games. I don't have a big library of games. I only buy games I want to play um, So I'm not like one of those people, but um, I wanted to play Pokemon Sword or Shield Rachel wants to play Pokemon Sword or Shield. So I just ordered the double pack. She's got her switch at home I've got my switch and Yeah means one of us can have one, one of us can have the other. Depends on, basically it depends on which which Pokemon. I paid for it. I paid for it. It's all me. I paid £100 for the double pack. So the ones with the Pokemon that I want are the one I'm getting. She can have the other one. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to have the steelbook too. So I have a few nice steelbooks. This one's nice though. This one's really nice. 
Right, so there's the steel bridge. Beautiful artwork. And then the again the artwork the art style on the front of the I mean look at this. Look at this. That's just brilliant. Isn't that really nice? I love the vivid bright colours and the, the, the I don't know. It's just it's nice. Let me just let me just pierce this. Come on you, pierce. Yeah. I mean, it's a shame about the whole, you must be six years old! Could you not put that on the back and small rather than massive on the front? But anyway, that's nice. Really, I mean, you could have a poster of that. Looks great. I showed my little sister, because I was at my sister's house yesterday, just visiting her for lunch, and um, this advert came on YouTube, I showed her it. She'd never seen the game before. She thought, she was like, that looks amazing, I want that. She's only ever played the Breath of the Wild. She's never played any other Zelda games. So she's absolutely not what you call a Zelda fan. She's just, she's only experienced one. She looked at that and she was immediately like, yes, I want it. So that's that's the pull of this game. She's got no connection to the series whatsoever. Um, obviously you can get the ami Amiibo. I'm not a, an Amiibo collector. Like, I'm not a games collector. I'm not a, I'm not a collector. I have all Nintendo home consoles, NES, SNES, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch. But I have no interest in, there goes my phone, <laughs> Here my phone go off, it's Mario, so I do like Nintendo stuff. But I'm not like, oh I need to get every game, oh I need to have them all on display, oh I need to have the mint in box, I'm not like that, not like that at all. In fact my, my Wii U still has its box, the Switch still has its box, and none of the other ones do. In fact the Wii box was destroyed. I had it in a, my Wii when I first bought it was in the back, I know they're going off topic, but I might as well tell you. My Wii when I first bought it was in the back of my old Mercedes, which I had years ago, and the drain channels were blocked for the rainwater, it's supposed to go under the car, and they actually started filling the boot and I had no idea. So the boot was filling up with water and I opened the boot after two weeks. It had been unopened for two weeks, it had been filling up for two weeks. And the wee was in there and there was about this much water in the boot. And it had been in there for so long, there was, the wee was in there, new in box. I mean I'd played it a couple of times but I'd pulled it out because I remember if it had the sort of drawers you'd pull out, you put the Wii and you'd slide the drawer back in, it was all cardboard. There was no evidence there was ever a box there or instruction manuals or anything. Everything made of paper or cardboard, no evidence of it. It was under that water for that long it completely disintegrated. So it was just a Nintendo Wii amongst this dirty water. The dried it out still works, that's Nintendo quality for you. Anyway, yes, moving on. I like that. I, I might keep this in here, you know. I don't know. It's I'll decide that later. I love, love the effort being put in. It's really nice effort. Well done. Really nice effort. Look at that. And it's <laughs> that's oh, it's hard, but it's hard covered. I thought it'd be soft covered. It's hard covered. Hey, covered, not covered. Covered. Nice. There we are. There's the obviously that's now empty. That's the bottom of it. Links so ah, uh, was that a dent? No, it's not. Links so it's, it's, yeah, it's hard covered. I like that. It's real sturdy. Feels great. And you got the wee palm tree symbol on the back. Right, this is, this is, this is, all I was going to say, the American one looks nicer than the European one here, because you've got the sort of, this artwork sort of thing on, or maybe the, the mountain, I can't remember, but on this. But actually this is really nice too, so I guess it's down to preference. Yeah, let's have a look here. Just, look at this effort. For, bear in mind, this, I paid an extra £15 for all this. It's definitely worth it. See, this is, this is, this is the intro. Sorry, the trailer sort of thing that they showed initially with the reveal. So anime, Japanese anime style. People, a lot of people said, no, I would have much preferred that to the sort of almost toy-like aesthetic they actually went, don't drop it, went for. See, this is why, see that, if my coffee was there, that would be game over. Um, but I know, I really like the dark styles. There we are, each their own. Again, look at this picture. See if I was, see what, just because it's spread over two pages is what made me think about this. If I was one of these people who had a workstation with two monitors on a PC, you know, and they're all both super widescreen and they, and they move into each other so the mouse moves across them both, that would be my wallpaper across the both of them. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I won't go through the whole thing because there's over 100 pages. I don't, I don't know if it's concept art or something. Ah, yeah. Well, that answers that question. Concept art, look. That's lovely. Somebody hand, probably hand drew there. Maybe 
with a hand drawn or will they maybe drawn with a uh, freehand with uh, computer software maybe I think those ones look hand drawn look at them they look hand drawn definitely really nice really nice I won't go, like I say I won't go through them all see if anything grabs my eye here as I quickly flick through I've never played Link's Awakening never played it I'm intrigued by it because first of all um, I mean obviously it's Zelda so you know there's that uh, but the whole switching between sort of 2D above you and 2D side scrolling view and the fact that it's not in the Zelda universe. I mean, there's Mario bad guys, there's Mario enemies. It's obviously some sort of, well, I was going to say some sort of whale. It's obviously some sort of whale, but whales don't have vertical tails, they have horizontal tails. So I don't know if that's supposed to be. It's got a whale's face, fish teeth, and a dorsal fin that's too big for a whale. And. A vertical tail, so it's sort of a fish shell. Don't know what that is. Like I said, I never played it. Yeah, Mario bad guys on this game. Mario, there's chomps and goombas and things like that. I have no idea what to expect with this game. Never played it. So this is going to be my first experience with it. Link's Awakening. Collect what was it called? Limited edition. Limited edition. I don't know what to do with the sleeve. Because. You don't need the sleeve for this to be on display, so I might just get rid of the sleeve. I mean, it's nice and all, but if I'm gonna have the box on display, what's this? Where's this gonna go? We'll just put it on a wall. There you go. No, nah, no, nah, I'll probably just get rid of it. Um, but yes, Link's edition, Link's Awakening limited edition. It's 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 really lovely. It's really lovely. Did I ever? Um, I didn't even finish. I got distracted. I didn't even. <laughs> Finish this. What an idiot. Look, you're probably screaming at the camera going, show us inside the game box. Right, okay. The game case. There's the game case. You've seen that because I didn't. And, oh, of course, the cartridge. Derg. So there's actually, what have we got here? Guidelines, some sort of community guideline thing. Don't be on your Nintendo for too long. Watch out for eye fatigue, that sort of thing. I don't know because it's in French. Then there's no English at all. Look, it's all French. In the back side of it, it's just so there's no English, so that's not used, useful to me whatsoever. Um, I can't believe I almost forgot to show you the game cartridge. What a what a tit, eh? What a tit. Anyway, there you go. There's the game cartridge. I like that again. You've got the the mountain with the link drifting on his driftwood symbol. It's actually a very nice looking uh, cartridge as well. Um, because I'll show you something in just a second. Just notice there's the fish whale, the fish whale again. It's obviously going to play a part. So yeah, I keep my Switch games in here. Um, now there's there's one missing. One That one is in the machine, so that's Spyro. And that one's Mario Odyssey, but it's missing because I've lent it to my sister, so that's why there's a gap. But anyway, they vary greatly in terms of how great the... Uh, in terms of how good the, the cartridge themselves look. For example, Breath of the Wild cartridge. Very nice. Slightly brown, but very nice. Uh, the, my two favourite ones are probably the Mario Kart 8 and the Crash one. I like the bright, sort of vivid colours. That's the Crash Insane Trilogy. But then you get. Oh, and also, yeah. I mean. The Pokemon Go Pikachu version one. There you go. That's good too. I like that one as well. And and uh, well, uh, probably the Starlink one's all right. But then you've got the rubbish ones, like Hero Warriors. I mean, it's what is that? It's got this. It's got the symbol. And come on, focus your tit. There you go. And the Peggy rating. And then same Smash Bros. That's even worse. Look. Rubbish. The spiral one's rubbish too. It's just like, oh, purple background with the word spiral. But this one, thankfully, is one of the nicer ones. This is definitely one of the nicer ones. So, see, now it's, unfortunately, it's now making my, my game thing look completely disjointed because I've got a gap where Mario should be and a gap where Spyro should be. But, yeah, whatever. Nice. I like it. For I mean the limited edition, there you go. I I mean I, I can't remember if I paid I think I only paid fifteen pounds more, but 
the price was 20 pounds what did it was 20 pounds the price was 20 pounds more for quite a lot of extra stuff i'm not sure i would pay 20 pounds more for this alone i think i'd probably pay an extra just because it's nice an extra tenner maybe but with the the, the the lovely box set up the art book yeah i love this i mean the visual imagery is amazing good job really good job nintendo i just hope the game is as nice as the rest of it and that's all for me. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.